Hey guitar friends, this is Prokopis from String Systems and in this excerpt from Bar Chord Workshop we're going to look at how you can add the minor 7th degree to our basic major and minor bar chords to get some new colors for our rhythm playing. Remember that you have to know the notes on strings 6 and 5 in order to move bar chords around. So if you need a fun way to learn the fretboard, get my free mini course called Fretboard Memorization Toolbox using the link below. Let's get started. The most common type of 7th degree that we add to chords is the minor 7th. When we add it to a major chord, it becomes a dominant 7th. And when we add it to a minor chord, that chord becomes a minor 7th. Starting with our basic major chord, we can get the minor 7th degree by moving this root note on the 4th string 2 frets back by just lifting our 4th finger. We still have root notes on the 6th and 1st strings, so we haven't lost anything, and we have added the 7th. The same goes for turning a minor chord into a minor 7th. Another color option that we have is to use that pinky that now is free and play an extra minor 7th degree here on the 2nd string. Again, we are not losing any chord tones because the note we cancelled out here on string 2 was the 5th degree. And we have another one of those down here on the 5th string. So we created an extra variation that you may prefer in some cases. Starting with our basic major chord based on the 5th string, we again get the minor 7th degree by moving this root note on the 3rd string 2 frets back by just lifting our 3rd finger. Now this fingering feels a bit awkward and most players, including me, usually use fingers 3 and 4 instead of 2 and 4 to play it. Turning a minor chord into a minor 7 is very simple, just lift that pinky. Again we have an extra color option by using that pinky to play an extra minor 7th here on the first string. The cool thing is that you can use these variations to make your playing interesting when you're staying on the same chord for a long time. So your assignment for this lesson is to practice dominant 7th and minor 7th chords in all keys using the backing tracks in the key cycle section. You can mix the root notes on strings 6 and 5 so the end result should be something like this. and so on. Now, I just quickly played straight drums for each chord, but remember that you should pay attention to the bass and drums and experiment with different ways of complementing what the band is doing. Then when you get comfortable, you can also look for songs on the internet that use these chord types or make up your own songs and put your knowledge to action. When you're ready for more cool chords, I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey friends, this was an excerpt from one of my courses called Bar Chord Workshop. In this course, we don't just memorize chord shapes. We use an effective system to explore interesting and fun things about chords like major, minor, dominant 7, minor 7, 
add 9, minor 9, sus4, and many more, so that you can handle any song in any key. Now, nothing compares to having a plan and building your skills up step by step. So check out Bar Chord Workshop and don't forget to get my free mini course called Fretboard Memorization Toolbox and start learning the fretboard now. This is Progobis from String Systems reminding you to enjoy your practice and be effective.